back view of my table. Uh, here's a view of the market. I'm in Clifton today at uh, Jubilee Park. Um, no, you won't. Um, I got. I put my tables. I put all my CDs and DVDs at that end today. Um, in the center and the front, I put all my. Uh, I did a four dollar two for seven, uh, three for ten table, just video games, and then I just did a long row where I did jewelry from here to the end, and at the end. I put all my uh, video games that have more value. But as you can see, I am really low on that stuff. I need to like uh, replenish that, which uh, fortunately we're coming into the time of year where I might be able to do that. I'm also, um, here, let me just show a front view. I'm also going to just show the few things that I was able to uh, pick up today at the flea market. Yeah. I did not find much, but uh, here it is. This is also my pickups. Uh, for a buck a piece, I got these loose games. Uh, what you see here. Uh, let me just go. I just want to put my glasses on because it's dark. It's getting dark now. It's kind of the end of the day. All right. GT2 Gran Turismo. And I got uh, Batman Beyond Return of Joker. That might be a, a game that has a little more value. Unfortunately, uh, these games need to be polished. Um, Tomb Raider Last Revelation, I don't think that has much value. Um, I, but the reason I kind of bought them was there were some Dreamcast games, and I haven't found any Dreamcast games in like forever. So I got a Sega Sports NFL 2K2 for the Dreamcast. Um, uh, Sega NBA 2K2. Um, I got this game, Max Steel. I am not familiar with, with this game at all. It looks legit, but it might be a bootleg. Uh, and it's hard to tell. I mean, uh, again, I'm not really familiar. Um, let me see how that looks in the front. You know, the printing on it's weird. So, And I know you could kind of burn games and play. This is a legit Crazy Taxi 2. I bought that anyway, because if it plays, I'm sure I'll be able to move it to someone else. Um, a Crazy Taxi 2. Uh, uh, Let's see, uh, here's a PlayStation Lost World. These don't really have much value, but they're good. I put them in books, they're filler. Um, another PlayStation, X-Men Mutant Academy. And then uh, another, and uh, here's, oh, Expendable. I am not familiar with this game, so who knows, you know, I have no clue. Um, the other thing I got today was I bought another Morris Katz painting. Boy, I have a lot of these now. I'm not really selling any of them, but for like 25 bucks, I'll pay $25 for painting any day of this week. And this one's kind of well done. It's a nice... Uh, Scene. See, it's windy. Let me just do. Oops. I'm dealing with the wind. Uh, continuing on with the few things that I got today, I uh, traded um, a PlayStation controller. Hopefully, it works. And uh, it is a DualShock. Uh, I think it's official, like a real PlayStation. Yeah, it's a Sony brand. Hopefully, this works. Um, if not, I'm not going to have a heart attack. Um, I, I know the person I traded with, so I'm sure he'll make it uh, good. Um, Perfumes. I bought. Well, actually, let me just finish with all the games. <laughs> uh, I got a Jurassic Park kind of faded label, um, but I think it was a dollar. And I got some um, AV for the PS2 cables. Uh, they were also a dollar. And I, I'll finish up. I got a Laird de Toms. I think I paid like eight bucks. Um, we also got jewelry today. I don't really know what I pay for the jewelry, but that's everything I got. Today.